Good morning guys, we just finished having breakfast and we are here on the boardwalk again in La Paz Perfect weather once again We've just been um, trying to go to some boat tour places to try and plan our trips for the yeah, the next day or two, we wanted to do some boat trips, so we're still looking into that. And today we're going to explore the city of La Paz a bit. I'm not really sure what's here. I think there's some like historical buildings, things like that. And then later on, we're gonna head to the beach. So before we were at a square called Plaza Principal and then we saw the cathedral which is called Catedral de Nossa Senhora de la Paix and now we're at another historical marker which is the theatre so we're gonna check that out. Here behind me you have a place called Casa Rufo from the 1860s and I don't know much about it, for, I was trying to read about it it seems like it was just a store where they sold things but I'm not sure what they sold and yeah that's pretty much the last historic thing they have here So we're pretty much done already exploring this place there isn't actually that much here in La Paz to do Besides the boardwalk and just those like three, four buildings, that's about it it seems. But I think a lot of majority of people come here because of the boat tours for the snorkeling, which is exactly what we're going to be doing over the next two days. We just booked it and um, also for the beach that we're about to go to now and it seems like it's going to be the best beach on this trip. I saw some photos and it looks amazing so hopefully it matches my expectations. just arrived at the beach it's called Playa Balandra and yeah it's definitely matched my expectations this place is just beautiful look at all this behind me got the super clear water look at this place It's like we're in like a little bay and uh, the water just seems to be shallow all throughout. I can see people over in the middle and they're still stood up. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to a place like this before. Just looking forward to getting in this water and spending the day here. So we're now sat right in the middle of the bay. Me and Carol. <laughs> How is it? Lit. <laughs> lit. <laughs> it is lit, guys. Yeah, this is crazy. We just sat down <laughs> right in the middle of the bay. And all the way around, you can see there's actually other beaches. I don't know if you can see them properly, but there's all these like empty beaches all the way around as well. And you can even see like little fish, even some pretty big fish as well, because the water's so clear. So. <laughs> Yeah, just such an awesome place. It's, it's crazy that it's this empty. And um, soon we're going to actually get the canoe. There's some canoes there for rent, so we're going to get one of those and probably head out there. <laughs> Should be fun. The kayak adventure has begun. We're trying to get more out of the bay now and see what's, see what's over there. Pretty, 
pretty difficult though, more difficult than I thought, but we'll see what we find. Stopped by one of the famous points. I've actually forgot the name of it, but I'll write it down on the blog. And yeah, this is just a, a point where a lot of people take photos and stuff. Maybe it's called Balandra's Rock, I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool. We're pretty much finishing up now at this beach. Um, we're going to have lunch in a minute at another beach nearby that has restaurants because this one doesn't have any. But before I go, I'm going to have to definitely get some drone shots of this place. Alright, so that was pretty crazy. Some seagulls were around and they were not happy at all with uh, the drone. They, they started coming after it as if they were going to uh, attack it, like three or four of them. And then they went away, so I, got, I started flying the drone again. But then they came back and then making crazy sounds trying to attack my drone. So I had to stop, um, yeah, I had to stop flying and filming. But I think I got enough shots anyway. Uh, we'll see. We've now arrived at a beach called Playa de Colotti. I think that's how you pronounce it, probably not, but um, it's only about a three minute drive away from the previous place or two minute drive, but here is a lot rougher the sea, you can see over here, less turquoise as well. We're basically outside of that little bay that we're in now, so that's why it's a lot rougher, so this is where we're going to be eating. Time to go home right now. I check these guys out. <laughs> so we're yeah we're heading out now. It's going to get dark and I don't want to drive home in the dark. But here is just such a beautiful place. That Balandra Beach is just amazing. And uh, even here is really nice. Look behind me. 
Got all the mountains. Tecolate Beach, not too bad either. And um, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna be heading out. Definitely must come to, to this place if you're in the area. And if you like this video, please check out my other videos and give this video a like to support me. And that's all from me. I'll see you in the next one.